of water. On the surface of water, all right? On the surface of water. That is what we have in this sense. Okay? We have the blotting paper doing what? Sinking to the bottom of the trough as the pin or needle remains floating on the surface of water. Okay? Okay? So, what is the conclusion? Conclusion. Conclusion. What's going to be our conclusion? You're going to simply say that the floating, the floating pin or needle shows shows the existence of surface tension of surface what? Tension. Period. You could, ask, you could also say that the pin floats due to the existence of surface tension. You also are, can be marked correctly. Here we are saying that the floating pin shows the existence of surface tension. All right? So what are you saying? Oh, okay then. The, the letter S is not clear. Fine. We can change it here. No problem. We can say shows. Like that. Is that what you wanted? Thank you. So we have the floating pin shows the existence of surface tension. All right? Why? Because in this case, the, the force is pulling uh, the molecules the other side and also this way, all right? So the surface here acts like a thin, stretched, elastic skin or even elastic membrane. And in this situation, therefore, the pin remains seated there or floating there because there's a force holding it at the surface of what? At the surface of the water. Now, someone was asking, why is it that the blotting paper will sink? Isn't it? Obviously, the piece of paper does what? Takes in water, isn't it? Hey, when you place, you, place, you place a piece of paper on water, it will become very, very wet, isn't it?